to Lakeside Labs here. Thanks for coming. Um, so what is Lakeside Labs? Where are you here? We are a new research cluster basically, which combines the research activities of some professors of the University of Klagenfurt. I would say that actually the organized from the outside organization is very much an exception. Yes. I think it is it, because in society we have a couple of systems like that which we have actually spent a lot of time historically to develop because I don't think that historically in uh, let's say in ancient times that there was much kind of control by the head of the time. I don't think there was much imposed organization. But at a certain moment with kings and, and presidents and CEOs, there was a tendency to start organizing things in a self-organized way that has cost us a lot of effort to achieve that. Because of that, we have thought a lot about it. Because of that, we tend to assume that is the way to do it. Naja, so wir haben jetzt einen Vortrag, aber sehr interessant. Also, wenn es so weitergeht, gut ab. robust or not at the individual level, so within the individual, and again, of course, if you look at a human, it would be cells that are, again, individuals within that, but kind of what we typically see as an individual, what we see as a collective, and the technologically... Uh, if we talk about, as we have the shoes, we know what the, what the shoe is made for, and we talk about the robustness, we kind of uh, know what, what it should be robust against. The same should be with an algorithm or with, a, with, an, with an electronic device. Uh, I want to do uh, a quick roundup uh, session about yesterday's uh, results. It will be a cross cut about like, self organization in a company such as ours. So, self organization. Yeah, wonderful. Without you.
Welcome to Klagenfurt, <laughs> Mr. Klingelmeier. <laughs> It's strongly enhanced, so the amplitude is much larger, and also it's very specific in the timing. Actually, this is probably the most precise timing experiment I've seen in the last 10 years. So I started doing neuroscience 10 years ago, and um, 0.1 millisecond precision is the highest resolution I've ever seen. So, okay, this group over here already synchronized, oh, and, and now we have some intruders over here, or some, some other groups, some other partners joining. Another uh, example, which is very well known now, is the epidemic spreading. How the fact, for instance, that the network is heterogeneous, that some people have much more contact than others, will affect the spread of an epidemic. From the guide of applicants, to the financial sheets, the proposal sheets, and so on. Okay, this was quite a short overview of the yeah, FAT initiative. <laughs> And if you bring a couple of people like that together, you get very uh, inspiring conversations, you get new ideas, you get uh, ideas for collaboration. I've enjoyed it very much. It's been very stimulating and also productive. <laughs>